All around Mailu, students are settling in for a new school year. They're learning the typical stuff, reading, writing, arithmetic. But in a second grade classroom in the Pattonville School District, the kids are also learning that it's okay to be different, even though it's not necessarily in their lesson plan. Isabel DeSavo is back home. I was a first grader in this very room. In room 109. I sat right there. At Bridgeway Elementary School. I knew exactly where I wanted to be. She's doing exactly what she hoped to be doing. This has been my dream job. Isabel has endured a lot in making her dream to teach become a reality. I do get stares when I go out. Some of it. When I was first diagnosed, it was really hard. Hasn't been easy. I was diagnosed with alopecia areata um, two weeks into my freshman year of high school. The disease causing her to lose her hair. It's kind of like, I'm. this is the hand I was dealt, and what am I going to do with it? One thing she decided to do was not to hide. I went in the first day of my junior year without a wig. Remaining true to herself. Even as a child, and a lot of my teachers that are still here would tell you, I was very authentic and I was me and I was okay with that. The children in her second grade classroom are okay with her too. They, they do say the darndest things, but it just makes you laugh and I, I don't mind. She doesn't mind the questions. But usually once I explain it, they're like, okay, and they're on to the next thing. She will teach them many things during her first year. Fall, summer. While at the same time showing them. I see myself in all of my students because I was them. What can be achieved no matter your personal circumstances. I want them to dream big and know that it is possible because it happened for me. Quietly empowering her students. It's not easy to be who you are all the time, especially when it doesn't fit the mold. And building their self-esteem just by the presence of their new teacher inside of her old classroom. I can impact even one child to fully accept themselves then maybe all of the pain I felt, all of the heartache, it's worth it. Isabel pointed out that the support she received from her peers at Pattonville High School was instrumental in her gaining her confidence. September is also National Alopecia Month to bring awareness and understanding about the condition.